welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business business group coaching is back this business started in 2019 on the cusp of covid right now the, the entire organization has over 30 people if that is not growth you see what i meant when i told you we were bringing somebody with results to show that the reason why i need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners so, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the lord <laughs> So he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business man. Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sits small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. We have a new product from Harvest Multipurpose Corporate. HMC Summer School Season Funds is designed to allow you quick access to school fees advances, a 30 days repayment holiday, and the product is at favorable rates. Sign up today for Mubuka Soma. You can call or WhatsApp the administrator on 0704-811-469 or check out our website www.worshipharvest.org forward slash harvest multipurpose dash Uh, this Sunday morning, uh, we are here to praise God, to thank God, and to listen uh, from God on how to run our businesses. So this is a space, an online church for business people. So you're very welcome again uh, this Sunday. We are here to pray. For the first 20 minutes, we are going to be praying. We are going to be praying for you. We are going to be praying for this nation. And uh, I, I encourage you to send your prayer requests online and uh, be together. The Bible says, where two or more are gathered, there the Lord is. So let us pray together. <clears throat> Turn up your volume. Uh, pray in the Spirit. Pray with understanding. And let's pray together. So Father, we give you thanks for this day. We thank you for yes, yet another Lord. Sunday where we come to Shindere praise Bandara, you, to worship you, to listen uh, to you. We know that today you're going to give us a word. You're going to give us certain instructions. You're going to give us wisdom. Yes, uh, for us to be able to run our businesses the way you want them to be. So we thank you. Welcome you to this space. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity to gather here and pray together. We don't take it for granted. We give you thanks. We give you all the glory. As we've been praying this season, we've been praying for fruitfulness. The word for uh, this church uh, this year is fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. And the scripture is Genesis 1, 28, which says that God bless them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. 
and that's our word and that's our word for our businesses and we've been praying at the past Sundays that we need to receive this word and believe it so let's pray into that again that we receive this word and believe it and run with it we thank you God for this word of fruitfulness we know that it is your mandate it is your will for us to be fruitful and we don't take it for granted we receive this word we are good soul we receive this word and run with it we believe that the word is true despite the circumstances around us we believe that it is true and that we are going to be fruitful so we give you thanks for this word yes lord i want to add my voice and say we give thanks well when we pray in tongues so if you know how to pray in tongues give thanks for this word that god has given us to be fruitful and to multiply thank god for the stage you are at in this level of fruitfulness multiplication filling the earth subduing it and also thank God for the future that he has promised you to have dominion and to be everywhere our businesses can be everywhere so thank God for those spaces pray into the word pray for your business name it and name the territories where it is agree with God because he has agreed with you where you should be in your sector, dominion in your country, we know that it's true. It's yes, possible. thank you, Lord. It's possible for your brand to dominate your sector. Ora mazike chere mazike chere mozibra Yes, you can't give enough thanks. God has been very helpful to you. You have milestones from the past. The things God has helped you overcome. Give thanks for that. As also you give thanks for the word He has given you to stand on. Today we are giving thanks. If you've just tuned in. We are giving thanks for our businesses. We are giving thanks for the opportunity uh, to be in the business environment. And we've been standing on the word that you should be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, have dominion, subdue it. So pray, pray into your, pray the word into your business. Yes, you are an overcomer. Lord, the Lord has helped you overcome quite many obstacles. Yes. Was it dead? You overcame it. So be thankful. Was it lack of customers and now they are abandoned? Be thankful. Was it lack of suppliers that are good suppliers? You've got them. Be thankful. Yes, true, true doctor. Uh, as, as, we, as we believe the word, uh, one of the hearts to start with is, is being thankful. As in Psalms 100, uh, verse 4, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Uh, be thankful to him and bless his name. Thankfulness is acknowledging what God has done. Yes. Or what God has promised to do for you. Like and as it. business people, yes. we have a lot to be thankful for. This week I was somewhere and I realized I need to be thankful. I was in a space where people are going through circumstances. And I just, I went home and realized I really need to be thankful. Yeah. I look at what I'm lacking, what I need to do, but then I forget to be thankful. And I, as a worship harvest uh, community, I want us to be thankful to God first for this church, yes. our worship harvest, and of course our shepherds, pastors, uh, uh, Apostle Mose and Pastor, uh, Ari, Pastor Ari, who have given us the spaces to come pray and talk business in a church space. Oh yeah. It's been a very, very interesting journey being in this church and you're learning about business yeah. from Apmo uh, and other business leaders, communities, people where we can share and learn business, yeah. how business can be done, uh, the biblical principles. So we we'll give thanks for worship as a church for so the spaces that we've been given to learn about business. So we thank you, Lord, for worship yes, We thank Lord, you for this ministry for that has been deliberate about raising business leaders. Uh, we have School of Practical Business. We have Business Garage. We have our BLN network, we have beyond doors, we have look for it. We have so many spaces at all levels where we learn about this. So we give you thanks for those spaces. We don't take it for granted. We declare that whoever is plugged in will be fruitful this year. But whoever is plugged in will get learning and understanding on how to run their businesses. That there will be kingdom business leaders. We thank you, Lord, for those spaces. We thank you for this church. We thank you for its foundation. We thank you, Lord, that we shall be a blessing to this. Yes, Lord, we 
yes, Lord, I add my voice to say thank you for the foundations you've laid for us through our apostles who labored to give us what the kingdom says about business that we've stood with it and ran with it, oh Lord. Thank you. May you make, may you continue to give them wisdom what they teach us every week. May you continue to take care of them in every way. You give angels charge over them in all their ways. We thank you for those spaces. We thank you. I encourage you to post on the, on the, on the chat on YouTube uh, what you're thankful for. As a business leader, and of course, if you have any prayer requests, please post them there. You can thank God for the customers you've had this week. Some people didn't have any sales, but you got sales. You have those milestones you've hit at the beginning of the year. So thank God for all those customers that you've had, the revenue that has come in. It's God given. We thank God for their ability to do business, just their ability to be apostles in business. We don't take that for granted. It doesn't come easy. We thank you, Lord, that you've anointed us to be business people. We thank you, Lord, that you've anointed us to do business, but most of all, you've given us the vision for businesses in this church. So we thank you, Lord, that we're anointed to do business. That is, you give us the wisdom, the power, the resources to do the businesses that we do, the clients, the opportunities. We don't take that for granted. So we give you thanks for the ability to do business because not everyone is doing business. So we don't take that opportunity for granted. We don't take that op the, the, the opportunity to steward those resources for granted. Yes, we thank God. Thank God that you're the best person to do that business that you're doing. That God put you there for a reason. And that you have the wisdom to solve those business problems and be paid for the service that you offer to the world. Thank God that God has given you those ideas to execute. They didn't come to anyone else but to you. So thank God for those ideas. And thank God for the ability to step out and do them. Oh, thank God for the vision he has given you. Vision is from God. God is the one who has given you that vision. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the visions you've given us. Thank you for making us different effective communicators of the vision of our purpose and mission and of our values that we can run businesses that influence the world for you. We thank God for the clients that we serve. We thank God for the clients that we serve. Uh, we know that it's not easy to get clients, but we know that because we are not able to do business, because you've given us the opportunity to do business, we are accessing different clients. If you look back at your business, where you started from and where you are now, there are many clients you didn't have in the beginning. So give thanks to God for those clients. Because there are other people who need them, there are people who are looking for them. But also give thanks to the clients that you want God to give you. And state them by name. Name them. Name the clients that you have. And name the clients that you want God to give you. And pray. Pray, pray for them. Pray for their fruitfulness. Pray for their success. Pray for their wisdom. Pray for their growth. Ziketere makara broko ziketere majaka terere ziketere mazitoro mzi braka tara broke zetere. The word of God in Proverbs 14 says, "In all labor is profit, but idle chatter leads only to poverty." Thank you. Thank God that you can do hard work, that you've been diligent at doing your work. It will pay. This tells us that it will pay. In all labor, there is profit. There is no work that you're doing that is coming to no fruitfulness. It shall be fruitful. So thank you, Lord, for all those people who wake up to open their shops early and close them late. There will be profit in that labor. We thank you that you recognize uh, labor in every way. For our partners and people we employ in our businesses because they are the labor. They are the labor we talk about. So we thank you, Lord, for all the people you employ in your businesses. Go ahead and name them. Give thanks to them for specific things. 
things that they have and things that they have lacked. So thank God for the managers. Thank God for the people, whatever, whatever they are doing. Thank God that He's given you such people, that He's given you sons and daughters in your business, that they are there to work with you to solve problems that are profit. We thank you, Lord, that those are anointed people of God, and that because they are serving you, you will serve them as well. We thank you that you're servant leader in your business, even though you have laborers. You're servant leader, and you will serve them. Tere mozi braka tere maza karara brokozi tere makarara Oh break an increase in the workforce an increase in the workforce we thank you Lord for an increase in the workforce God is telling someone take a step of faith and employ those people take a step of faith and employ those people and then the service will come the, the orders will come the fruitfulness will come zikere brokozi tara mazi kere re mozi braka tere re Oh break Friends, if you have any prayer requests, send them in. We are praying for your businesses, for you. That you shall see success this week. Um, where two or three are gathered, we you know God is there in their midst. And in the presence of God, what are mountains, their level to valleys. So send in those issues and we agree with you. If we agree on a matter, it shall be established and you will see light of God shine on your ways. So share those prayer requests and we declare, yes. Endless lights, thank you for all the thanksgiving you're giving. Thank you. You're giving thanks to God for the anointing around you. You're giving thanks to God for the opportunities to learn and grow. You're giving thanks to God for wisdom and many other things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you've given us this opportunity to do what we do. You're thanking, for, you're thanking God for sons and daughters, friends in the business. You're thanking God for an increase in the workforce. Endless lights. May God reward you for your thanksgiving. Joshua, you're thanking God for a workforce that you have. Mobapeng Paladi, are you thanking God for a hosting center in Bad Bad Plus in South Africa? It's an honor. You're saying it's an honor to have a hosting center, a hosting business garage, and other garages, other services from Worship Harvest. So we give thanks to God. For that hosting center and give thanks to God that business garage is impacting people out of out of Uganda. Yes, Lord, we agree with Okelo Joshua that there is an increase in the workforce for him, for his business, oh Lord. Lord, that you're bringing sons and daughters to Okelo, Joshua and Gobi. And that he will not forget that all this increase comes from you. He'll come back to say thank you. We agree that it's already done and we shall see a physical manifestation of it. Lord, we thank God for resources. We thank God for income. Today we're going to talk about income. And we thank God for resources. Resources do our businesses. We see people, resources, equipment, and many others. But the key one is resources uh, of money. So we thank God for income. We thank God for financing. For our businesses, someone is struggling with financing the business or incomes are not coming in that can refinance the business. We thank God that that's a reality, that this week you'll get a release in that space of income. We thank God for the word we are going to hear today. Uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 54, in Isaiah 54, the Bible says that the Lord has given me the tongue of the land. The Lord has given me the tongue of the land that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear the land. And as we enter our business garage today, as we get prepared to listen to the word, we thank God that the speakers, that apostle is going to teach us today, has been given the tongue of the land that will speak to us concerning the needs that we have in our businesses, concerning the issues related to, to income. He's going to give us a word in season and even issues that are not related to income we are going to hear and Lord will guide us on what to do. So we thank you for the opportunity to hear from a land man. And most of all we thank God that our ears are open to hear as the land. So we thank God that we are, have open hearts, that we are good soul and we are going to hear the word as it is and you're going to speak to us in the areas of our need this morning as far as business is concerned. We thank you Lord for the word this morning. 
Uh, we thank you, Lord, that uh, our soil, we're good soil. We thank you that Apostle is going to give us a good word and that we will be ready to hear the word and the word will be relevant to us. So thank you for joining us this morning at Business Garage. Uh, we know that this is the space, an online church for business people, so we want to request you to go ahead and share the link uh, with people out there. Share the link with your friends and family, whoever you think needs this to hear something this morning. This is the right opportunity. So go ahead and share the link. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are here in Nalia. You can join us if you're nearby. We're at Worship Harvest Nalia. If you're nearby in the area, come and join us physically in the studio. We welcome you. So thank you. Stay tuned. Do not touch uh, the, the dial. Do not change the channel you're on. God bless you and have a fruitful Sunday. Welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? That the reason why I need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners. <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> so he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Yes. yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader is small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. Justifies 
Always working our lives Great is the love God We sing His name renowned He's mighty He's awesome Great is the Lord God We sing His name renowned He's mighty Oh, He's awesome No one like our God He is awesome and mighty yeah. oh. One day the light of truth will see Him face to face With Him forever we will be and sing His praise One day the light of truth we will see Him face to face No more sorrow, no more crying we will be with Him, yeah. we we'll find pleasure in knowing Him, His presence and very self, the whole universe does the fight, always working our lives. Great is the Lord God, we sing His name renowned, His mighty
tuned in don't go away because the best is yet to come up ahead we have uh, we are continuing our series back to the basics of business and so uh, tell your friends share this link uh, with your colleagues with your workmates and those friends who have business problems don't let them continue to suffer tell them to tune on now yeah be a good friend yeah, my name is Steven. I would like to welcome you to yet another episode of Business Garage. And if you're here for the very first time, both in the studio and online, I extend a warm welcome to you. You're going to love this. Uh, stay tuned because it is going to be amazing. Now, I'd like to tell you more about who we are. We are a movement of the gospel, discipleship, and mission. And we are committed to catalyzing spiritual, social, and economic renewal in our immediate communities and as a result, the world. And we also believe that church begins on Monday and Sunday is garage time. Be, be. Yeah, what that means is that we step out on Monday to be church to our neighbors, eh? uh, solve business problems, uh, solve economic problems solve problems generally because we've been equipped on sunday to go out and be garage yeah now i'd like to invite you to worship god with your treasure uh this is the time we come to say to step out in faith and say that jesus is our lord and provider how do we do that our step of faith is by giving back what part of what he has given us in terms of offerings tithe um and over and above that so i would like to invite you to worship god with me 
uh, using your treasure. Uh, if you are online, you can give through our mobile money uh, platforms for the MTN one. I'll read it for you, those who are on radio. It's 0778-618-418. And for Airtel, 0758-618-418. And if you're using MomoPay, the MomoPay code is 148722. And the Airtel Pay code is 160032. All the other details be will be running on the screen. I would just like to declare that, Lord, thank you for being our provider. Uh, we come back to you with a step of faith, returning our offerings and tithe uh, to step in our inheritance of the abundance you've provided for us. Amen.
Previously on Business Garage. One of the big challenges we have in Africa is successive, you know. Succession planning. Yes, succession planning and businesses that survive generations. Yes. So when we see big businesses, even globally, it's because they've survived generations. Exactly. Um, even in East Africa today, we take the big businesses. You have, like here, you have Mukwano, you have. Yes. We have the Bitcoins, we have the Safal groups and so on. They are fourth generation businesses. Exactly. They did not start yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So one of the key questions we must ask in within our African culture, how are we going to be able to do to move successively? Mm. Do you, is it you and your wife or your partner mm -hmm. or with, with other people? Do they, you know, because you then start writing who are the shareholders. Okay. Some people put their children as shareholders. As shareholders, although you know, well, they need to become of age yeah. Yeah. Uh, to become shareholders, etc. So you start thinking about things like that. Other things that people don't think about a lot. We were talking about insurance with uh, Dennis, I think, the other days. Yeah. Uh, we call it uh, key man insurance. Do you have that in Kenya? You key must have man? it. It's called key man insurance. Mm -mm. It should probably be gender specific. Mm. Key woman. Key no, uh, no, don't <laughs> worry. We are, gender secure. Sensitive. <laughs> we are secure. The man <laughs> involves <laughs> men and women. We came so out of you. We don't it's, mind. You get insurance which says that if the person who is running the business is not, because you know there's usually in a small business, mm. there's the one person who has the, the knowledge, the yeah. skill, yeah. everything. So you get insurance on them. It's like a life insurance oh, policy wow. and also health. So if I get sick, we will still get some, we'll have some revenue. So you start thinking about things like insurance Never heard of and so on. And then um, something we don't do a lot in Africa is writing wills. Business Garage, exploring kingdom business principles from God's word. Good morning. Welcome, welcome to yet another edition of Business Garage Studio audience. Let me hear a shout in this place. You're very welcome. Help me in a very special way. Make our online audience welcome. Register General Masike Kaino. We show I see you, Susie Nabide. Studio audience, as you clap. Tracy Birunji, Bridget Achola, Imi Oven, Melody Owundo, Susie Nabi, dear friends, we are very excited you've joined us this morning. Welcome, welcome. This is one of the best decisions you're going to make as a business leader. My name is Florence. I'm so honored to be back here on the set of Business Garage. Greetings to you, Pastor B3. I'm so happy and excited to be here, for, especially for what we are yet to receive. In a very special way, would you help me appreciate the Business Garage team? For the incredible work they do help me appreciate the media team that brings us this weekly broadcast come on people help me appreciate apostle Moses, who is behind the vision for business garage yes so much value we get in this space so you are very welcome i'm sure you know what to do one of the things to do is to do what is to share the link so you be a good friend be a good partner be a good neighbor be a good family member and share the link let's see these numbers go up because many people out there need this information we've been going through the basics of business we are laying the foundation so we can start the year with a strong foundation so we've been talking about the basics and what were the basics the five studio audience the five number one is insight yes we've been talking about insight we are basically doing the inside work because if you don't have the foundation on the inside our businesses are going to fail businesses succeed from the inside out so the first eye is insight for us to renew our minds by first of all having the right information to work with bridge the knowledge gap the second eye is what income and the third eye is increase the fourth eye is I have a studio audience. The fourth eye is? And the fifth is? Impact. Apostle has done a great job to labor concerning insight. In fact, we've had three episodes. Laboring on insight, laying the foundation because we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. He has addressed the issue of the thermostat, if you remember. Yes, because our financial temperature is determined in the business is determined by this financial temperature as a that I have as a business owner. And he has also talked about the purpose of making money because where purpose is not known, abuse is what? 
inevitable. So he has labored. And if you haven't caught all the last three episodes, actually there are four, but the three where he's talking about insight, it's very important that you have that foundation. So go back and watch them. And if you haven't watched them, I mean, if you've watched them, just rewatch. Because once we transform the inside, definitely what we flows from the inside of us is going to cause our businesses to succeed. In a very special way right now, studio audience, drum rolls. Help me make welcome Apostle Mose as he takes us through the second eye, which is income, which I know you're all very eager to get because I don't know anyone who is in business and they're not there for income. Mm, I don't know if when you're not making profit, you're in business. Maybe that's a non-profit, yeah? But as far as I know, many of us are in business to make a profit. And I'm glad that we have a purpose as to why we are making that profit. So yes, go ahead and share that link because I know many people out there need to know how do I make the income. And people have started, it's a new year, people have started businesses. They want to make some money for whatever reason, but they have started. So we want to help them know how to grow this income from the businesses they've started, have been running for a while. And you could be there and you've been running your business for a while, but you haven't broken through to get that profit, yeah? And you're feeling small, small discouragement. Today, you're going to get the solution to that. Today, to tell your neighbor, today. Today, we are going to understand how do I make this money? How do I break through? How do I make a profit so that I can be of impact in the society or community where God has placed me? Help me make welcome, wow. Apostle Mose. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good Welcome morning. to Business Garage. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Flo, is that dress sponsored by Pastor Steve? Who could, else could it be? For sure, for sure. I send greetings to Pastor yeah. Steve in Senyonjo. Uh, for, uh, yeah, yeah. He's investing where the money is. You are investing heavily. Ma, 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 ma. Yeah. What a blessing. What now, a blessing. I have an offer yeah. here with me. Uh, the five most involved people on YouTube hey. are each going to get a copy of Straightforward Financial Growth. Come on now. And, and don't be one of we those have who started. say, don't be one of those who say, I, I already have a copy. You know, the copy you have is not the one that I'm holding That you're giving right out now. today. Some people, they don't understand the difference. You, you may have bought a phone, but if I, I buy one for you, it's not the same. Hey. So you may have your SFFT copy, which you bought or borrowed or even downloaded illegally. I beg, no downloading. But I'm going to give you a special one. Mm -hmm. if, if you are the most actively engaged viewer on YouTube... Okay. Come on now. Let's All right. So let's let me go. even let me even put it here. That's For the one. Viewers, the most active. Mm -hmm. That is two. The tech team is going to let us know who the most active people were. That is three. And if there's I a you, number you can now. call actually to to get your book. That is four. Mm. Mm, I mm, see mm, you. Mm, mm, I see you, Tony Mugeni, is, Maureen Mogume. Let's see, that Come is on, guys, five. let's go. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right. Daniel five, Chaudhry. Five copies. Time to engage yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. Let, for us, let's keep talking. The tech people will decide who the winners are. Come on now. So we are here to talk about income. income. And because this is Business Garage, we are talking about both personal income for you and the business income yeah. because the same head Aish. that governs the income at home the is head. the same head that works on the income in the, in the business. business. So I know all too well what happens when the head is not working very well. Uh, we have started. <laughs> that's why you can have three businesses that are in the same dealing the same product yeah. in the same market. Yes. Same economy. Same economy mm. with wildly diff different uh, results. And maybe about the same age. Because you oh, would yeah. say some others were there way before. Mm -hmm. But with wildly different results. results. Okay. Yeah. Wildly different results. So, it's the, the, the thing is you can be 
there, Nganaye, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to send greetings. I also send greetings to Irad Guma, who was our designer for this studio, who got hey, married. Congratulations. Uh, who got married on, on what? On Friday. Yes. So two days in marriage, mm -hmm. Irad. We congratulate you and your lovely and patience, mm -hmm. Irad and patience, Guma, the, one of the latest couples. Here in Worship Harvest, we believe in marriage, one man, one woman for life, married in church. <laughs> and we believe yes, so in early marriage. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. wait to turn 50, then you start it's looking for a wife. No, 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 no. If you're in your 20s, early 20s, that's mm. the best time. That's when you'll enjoy your marriage the yeah. most. Yeah. Later on. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Don't so, know. Those is, if you are above 25, you're running late. All right, let's go back to our thing here. Yeah. <laughs> So, inside income increase investment impact. Yeah. Income. Yeah. Money is a reward for solving, solving problems. problems. The more problems you solve, that, that quote mm. is from Mike Maddock, the more money you make. Yes. If you solve very unique problems, you'll make more money. Both the butcher and the, 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 surgeon. the surgeon cut Good. meat. But they are rewarded wildly differently. Even the one cuts even more meat than the other. Mm. <laughs> this is just by way of introduction. Mercy. Both the butcher and the surgeon are into meat, meat cutting, cutting. But, but they the are compensated very differently because of the value. It's they about the value, value, not the amount of activity. Come on now, not the business. It's not the business. It's mm, the business. It's, business. it's business, not busyness. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So what value are, are you bringing, bringing to, to the, the table? Tihav Eka says, you shall be compensated according, according to, to the, the value, value that you bring, bring to, the to the market. Who brings the value? Me. Who is compensated? Me. Me. You, 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 you. Me. Hey, Banange. <laughs> Who brings the value? Me. Me. Who is compensated? Me. Who determines how much money you make? Me. Why, who, who decides how much money you have in your account? Me. Is it the government? No. Is it the president? No. Is it the opposition? No, sir. Is it your boss? No, sir. Is it the NSSF no, boss? No, sir. Is it, no. is it uh, the MPs? No. Is it the LC1 chairman? No. Is it the pastor? No. Who Me. is it? Me. So just check your bank balance and your the bottom line of your mm. what is mm. what they call that in your net worth and mm. then you realize that's you. That that's that's the value you have been able to generate. Yeah. And you know the, the good thing about money, it has no emotions. No. You know, like when we are talking about marriage, there are lots of emotions. Feelings. No, you, you don't know my situation. This mm. one is uniquely whatever. <laughs> okay, yes, granted. <laughs> we were not there when you were asking the person to whatever. Um, but when it comes to money, money, it's completely emotionless. It is amoral. Yeah. It's neither moral nor immoral. No, it's it is uh, amoral. No. It's emotionless and amoral. Mm. So money is a very good guide mm. about the affairs of life because everyone can give excuses about something yeah. else. My, yeah. my spouse is difficult. Mm. But when it comes to money, it is as straight as it gets. Possible. Yeah. Mm. If you have little, it just That's reveals your, the volume of knowledge you have about it. If you have much, it reveals the volume of knowledge you have about it. And you, the quicker you come to that realization, yeah. the better. And the quicker you come to the realization that the money in your business mm. is that amount because of you, the wow. leader of the business, the better. Because the only person you can control on a good day, as Danny Sick says, it's is me. you. I think we are, we've had enough of an introduction. Hey, what a powerful introduction. I hope you have your seatbelts on. What a start. But you have a story. Pastor Flo I has do. a story. <laughs> you see this beautiful dress uh, and all this, uh, this cool watch yeah. and those nice shoes yeah. and that nice jewelry yeah. and that smile. Yeah. They have not always been there. Once upon a time. 
once upon a time. Okay. Once upon a time. Let's go. You guys, so one day, mm -hmm. I was there minding my business, then I got married. Yeah. So you see when you're living in your parents' house, Apostle, eh? Mm. You switch on all the lights you want, turn on all the water. You even let yeah, it drip. Yeah, you drip it drip. Yeah, you eat the food and pour some. Why is Ruth yeah. member shouting? <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Ruth ma. Uh -huh. She knows. You eat all the bread you want, pour some. You know, all the food, what you want. In fact, you think juice comes from the fridge. Yeah, someone well, was telling true. me the other day that they didn't know where juice comes from. They would just sit at the table and there's juice. Wow. You know? Until you get married and, and move into your own house mm -hmm. and start becoming a responsible adult. Mm. And suddenly you realize how much money you need to make for bread to be on the table. Mm. And then when you get children, hey. Hey, when you tell your person we are expecting hey. and they ask you what we are expecting, hey. you know, that was our story for real for real for real it was those things of what are we expecting because there's nothing to expect right now apart from money because we are looking for what money money, money. and now you're talking about ex ex money was avoiding you like the plague <laughs> too much it was just waving at me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we started to struggle quite a lot the child came into a picture we didn't have income streams to sustain just ourselves as a couple later on the baby so there was so much struggle to the point that it affected our marriage you don't say i do say mm -hmm. it affected our marriage because then it becomes a blame game exactly what you've just shared exactly that you're the one responsible for the money that should be here we are struggling because you're the one because of you so then because every conversation ended up in a quarrel we just started keeping quiet, you know, because if I start, it's going to end up somewhere. Because everyone says, it's your what? Your it's fault. your fault. Hey. But thank God. Shame. Tell your neighbor, thank God. No, first give us some figures. Some, some figures. figures. <laughs> you know, oh, they might be thinking it business was bliss. Garage. Business garage, we deal in we figures. We, are, we don't just tell stories. We were broke. What's that? To what extent? Figures. We want figures. Hey. Mm. Uh -huh. So, you guys, we were, between the two of us, me and my husband, we were earning a total of one million shillings. Uganda shillings. Mm. Oh, yeah. Between the two of us. And as you can imagine, if you're earning one million shillings and there are 30 days in a month, mm. there's definitely more month than the money. End, yeah, the end of the paycheck. Totally. How much was your rent? Rent at that time was staying in Kazinga was about 400k. Kazinga is beyond Mokono. Okay, so... Eh? Actually, Kazinga, 500k, not even Chirinya. 500k. Yeah. Deep inside, three kilometers Five, from 500 the, yeah. So, you are earning one million, rent is... Transport to come from, first of all, the house to the road. From the house to the <laughs> road. And then... <laughs> uh, anyway... You, first, if yeah. I break it down for you, just know there was more math at the end of the paycheck. A she, lot of more math. She prefers not to have to recalibrate and no. recalculate. I don't want to remember. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it was really tight, friends. When I say tight, eh, it was really tight. My mom many, many times had to come through to bail us out. Stephen's parents had to come through many times to bail us out for sure. Food, what, so many things. So because the one million wasn't enough. And the blame game was just ongoing with no solutions. Right about that time, as God would have it. Hey, wait, wait. Who are you currently, right yeah. now, mm. blaming for, for your, current the, situation. your current situation? Yeah. There's someone watching us right now. You can probably write down five names of people you can be yeah. blaming for your current if situation. If it were not for this person, I would be here. And if, yeah, and if you're married, it's very likely your spouse <laughs> is Always. top of the list. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but do you realize that when we have money problems, mm. the relationships that are affected the most yeah. are the most important relationships. Totally. For us. And it's many either of them. the spouse, yeah. mm. the children, yeah. the parents. Yeah. Yeah. The it's closest. the closest relationship. Yeah. 
So don't take this lightly. Not at all. Because it can ruin your closest relationships. Mm. Yes. In fact, Apostle, many marriages have broken up because of money. Yep. Many, many of our friends because of money. I'm yeah. told it's the number one bre breaker of marriage. Oh, yeah. So then, as God would have it and be gracious to us, Apostle writes a book called Straightforward Financial Growth. Of which the top five most participating people on YouTube are each are going to get, get today, a free today, copy. Today, 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 today. And, and a copy from, <laughs> from this table. Yes. Yes. Also writes this book, which I'm going to encourage, even if you don't win a copy because there are only five, I'm going to strongly encourage you to buy it. And if you've bought it and read it and experienced some results, buy it for someone. Yes. Yeah? Yesterday, someone gave me a gift. Pastor Chris Kawesa gave me a gift, and it was the book. The best gift you can give to someone is the book. book. Yep. Yeah. It's the best gift. So if you know someone who's struggling... Best birthday gift you can oh, give yes, someone this, this year book. is a copy of SFFG. Many of the gifts we buy are more expensive than this book. Yet this book will give and you less lasting valuable. value. More expensive, yes, and less, less valuable. valuable. Yeah. So get this book. So Apostle writes this book. And from this book, he starts running a series of masterminds. I remember very well coming to my first mastermind, Apostle. And we both couldn't even afford to be there. But we took a step of faith and said, "Go, you go first, and then I'll come after you. Mm. Because we discovered from the SSFG Next, a brief version of the mastermind you had run, we needed to renew the mind. Mm. Guys, renew the mind. I know you're busy running around looking for money. In fact, Monday, tomorrow, you're drawing your appointments where you're going to find the money. But the mind needs to be renewed first. They need to find the mind. They need to find the, don't find <laughs> the, the mind, money. Find, find, the find the mind. So he wrote the book. We went to a mastermind. I remember going through that season of eight weeks then. Eight weeks of a mastermind where you would tell us, first of all, to get us to read books. It was this book as the main text, and then a couple of other books that we were reading, and we had assignments to do. We had to grow our income streams to 10 minimum. Yeah. And every week in a mastermind, you'd report on how much income. money you made. Weekly. Yeah, it income. wasn't just inspiration and feeling good, but mama, how much mama, money. Mama, you know how potential, that was so nice. My yeah. highlight. No. It was your highlight and how much money you made. Now, of course, you're going to ask, I've already come here, I don't have money. Now you're asking me to make the money from where? That's when I discovered there are so many ways to make money. Because money is a reward for, for solving, solving problems. problems. And as for problems. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. They are bound. In fact, by the way, on in the internet, there are lists that run on how many businesses you can start, how many problems you can solve and start. And by the way, it's not complicated at all. And that's when I found it wasn't complicated. The first thing I needed to do, yeah, first of all, I had a job. Yeah, I had a job. Many people, apostle, want to get into business and have their businesses pay them immediately. Mm. Maybe you need to get a job first. Yes. So that as your business grows, you're able to, you're compensated. And here is the other. Yeah. If you're struggling in your job, <laughs> don't start a business. Oh, wow. Yeah. If you, if you don't even have the capacity mm. to satisfy one customer called your, your employer, mm. then then to think that now you're going to satisfy many customers. Oh, wow. Because when you start a business, you go from one, one, one boss to several bosses. Everyone who, has <laughs> a, everyone who has a job is in business. Yeah. It's just that you have a primary client yeah. customer Who's called your employer. Yeah. And if you treat your employer as a customer, you will do amazing things. Something is going to change about the way yeah, you work. Yeah. You're going to do a lot of good in yeah. your workplace. You'll be promoted. Yeah. People go to work to make money yes. and not to serve. Not at all. Not to add value. Not to add value. Yeah. That's why they are stuck yeah. in the same position with the same little uh, salary. It is, it is. If, you, if you show value, if, if I come and you employ me, yeah. let's say your business is making... Uh, 20 million mm, a month, yeah. you know, revenue. Yeah. And then you employ me, and because of my impact, we jump to 50 million. Come on now. I'm able to bring my skills, and we, you know, More add 30 million. Mm. What, what, 
what do you think you have to do to keep your business going very well? My natural response would be, is, would be to ensure you stay. Exactly. So you have to you, you start increase compensation, compensation I'll recognition, things. what? Yeah. You start thinking about if giving me what? a bit of the share of the mm, business mm. so that we can do this together. Yeah. Because otherwise what we have is a lot of scattered little businesses business and we are missing... I think someone sent me something, uh, Julie Nachiga and Sonko, that there is the scattered little entrepreneurs this side and then the big businesses this yeah. side. Mm. And there's the middle, the missing middle, the medium-sized enterprises, yeah. which will require these people coming together, together and to putting, reducing the size of their heads, increase the size of their hearts, and say, we can win together. Yeah. Be part of something you see, bigger. If you decided to go start your church, Come on now. I start the my church, the Gloria starts as whoever, we wouldn't have worship no. harvest. We would all be there in our, t in our tin, tin, tin world uh, things which are very hot. But because we are together, yeah. Yes, seriously. Yeah, totally. Because we are together, we can punch harder. Yeah. We can buy land that's very expensive. We can launch serious stuff. Mm -hmm. We can you get know? a huge market share. Uh, as I'm talking about church. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. No, 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 not business. Me. Market share, mm. what a shock. <laughs> Our market share is about Sinas. 7 billion people Passes who are not the saved. Devil. Yeah. yeah, but because we are together, mm. we can build buildings like yeah. this. We can, you know, be able to help the ones who are beginning out and yeah. buy land, build buildings. But if each of us was on our own, I can tell you, none of our ministries would be anywhere as close to significant yeah. as they are now yeah. when we are together. So why don't business people pick that leaf? Why does everyone insist on, on having their little yeah, kiosk here, little kiosk there, little kiosk there, 10,000 kiosk? Anyway. Let's keep going. Yeah, you have it right there. That maybe as instead of you starting that little thing, find someone who is already doing probably the same, same thing and just merge resources, right? Yeah. In fact, that brings me to my other example, is that when I finished the John Maxwell certification program, I didn't have work. And I figured instead of me going to start my own little company and introduce myself out there where no one really knows me, because it's going to take me time to build that trust from the different clients i figured why don't i go and join momentum leadership group because they're already on their way doing the same exact thing so i go and knock on apostle's door and tell him i would like to join momentum leadership group as a trainee as a volunteer you know sometimes you can even say volunteer right yeah because it makes it gets into the system i joined and today ladies and gentlemen i coach one-on-one -on -one clients for a few small small dollars per hour mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I joined Momentum Leadership Group, there and then Apostle started to train me into becoming a coach, practically, because what I had was information. So there and then, I think it's been one year since I joined Momentum Leadership Group, mm. and I'm doing business coaching, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm doing team trainings. Wow. And that's a very, uh, considering the fact that I had just joined the market, I wouldn't have gone that far unless I joined Momentum Leadership Group where there were other coaches doing the same exact thing at another scale. Now, let's finish the story. Yeah. You're earning one million. I'm earning one million. Together. Together. You've tasked us to start 10 income streams. You start. I start 10 income streams. You solve problems. I solve problems. You start making money. I start making money. In six months. In six months, we hit an, uh, a total earning of 10 million shillings. Between the two of Between you. the two of us. Per month. Per and month. In one month. Yes. They and went it from, hasn't changed. They went from making one million mm. a month to ten million mm. a month because I introduced in six months because I introduced some new ways of, of thinking, thinking into their heads. Yeah. In other words, Insight. in other words, mm. your income is a direct Insight. is directly correlated to the insight. You insight. Possess. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can clap for that for sure. It's the insight. It's that our interaction with Apostle opened our minds to so many possibilities. I didn't know I had so many gifts I could monetize. Yeah. You can organize an event, I'll be there for nothing. 
Yet I'm adding value. And that right there taught me that that's value. And when you bring value and show up as a person expecting value, value will come back to you. Exactly. I can help with social media marketing. Right there, you get a client. Cause, and I realized so many people out there actually need help. The other thing was to add value to myself. Because yep. again, you're the one who's bringing the value. If you don't have value, you're not going to give any value. Yep. So I had to join the John Maxwell team. So then I become a certified coach. So I can become a partner in Momentum Leadership Group. So value was the reason, the first of the mind, and then the value I started to take out there, that got us from 1 million shillings to 10 million shillings a month together. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's look at a scripture, First Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 10. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 10. He's, he's finishing this line by talking about love, and indeed you do so toward all the brethren who are in Macedonia. Then he changes topic, and he starts talking about yeah. value. Value. Read for us that second part. It's right there on the screen. All right, and indeed you do so. No, from the full stop, from when he starts the that. second thought, yeah. But we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more. We urge you. Mm. In other words, it is for being urged to. In other words, left to yourself, you're not going to increase. Oh, yeah. You always need that external stimuli. Oh, stimulus, yes. Stimulus, yeah. stimuli to help you move into increase. Mm. A lot of people are not into increase. A lot of people are into settlement. Comfort. Comfort. Poverty, comf poverty related comfort. Mm. He's saying we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more. And everything I'm saying right now, I'm saying to people and businesses. Yeah. He uses the word increase and then he uses more twice. Now, oh, yeah. is there a possibility that you can increase less? No. When it's I say possible. increase, it I automatically, automatically mean more. more. But for emphasis, yeah. he says increase more. and then he adds more and more and more. If we did the survey of businesses here for the last five years, mm. would we see exponential growth? Because that's what it is. Increase is addition. Mm -hmm. Increase more is multiplication. Yeah. Increase more and more is exponential. exponential. For those who struggle with what I'm saying, a, a increase is X plus X. <laughs> Not my nothing. Huh? Yeah. A, a increase more is x times a yeah. certain factor yeah. okay let's let's say we are using a factor of three mm. increase would be x plus three yeah increase Addition. more would be x times three multiplication increase more and more would be x to the power three exponential exponential if x was wow. three Three plus three is six. six. That's increase. Mm. Three times three is nine. nine. That's increase mm. more. Mm. Three to the power three is 27. That's increase more and more. If you're lost, go and get your <laughs> school fees. There's a <laughs> reason for math refund. <laughs> mathematics was compulsory until and in senior the morning. four. For a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he says we you we strongly encourage you to be guided we implore you we implore you yes. don't stay the same don't, don't have settle. the same income year on year don't settle don't have your business have the same revenue year on year and alas some might even be reducing this is Paul. Yeah. This is not me. This is scripture. Mm. If you want to argue, if you want to quarrel, <coughs> go and quarrel with the Bible. Yeah. We urge you, brethren, that you increase 
more and, and more. more. In math, and is times. Yeah. Mm. Even they say two and two and two, they mean two times two. I know, I know that some people. <laughs> I'm about to let's not go there. We are here. <laughs> but let me stick with my point. Yeah. So we add you. We add you. To a To a To a To give me that whole word. Hmm? What? What? Walego. Walego. Yeah. To turn what? What's the Swahili word? Hmm? To na beg beg. To na beg. <laughs> eh? to not beg you <laughs> eh? increase yeah. more, more and, and more. more this yeah. is the brethren if you are a brother if you are a sister the expectation of yeah. heaven yeah. is increased absolutely given normal circumstances and then he says in the next verse verse 11 thank you for verse 11 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. To mind your own business. Uh -huh. And to work with your own hands. Uh -huh. As we commanded you. Ah. You aspire. Mm. This is an aspiration. Mm. It's like, what do you want to do in life? To lead a quiet life. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said that deep deep waters don't make noise don't make noise don't make noise deep waters don't make noise there's mm. a reason maybe why you make so much noise <laughs> <laughs> someone said when if the argument is weak uh -huh. increase the volume <laughs> so bad. Increase the volume the doesn't volume. improve the argument, doesn't right? Help the situation. We have a situation. Mm. Yeah. Deep waters quiet. don't make noise. Mm. They are quiet. quiet. Mm. They are minding their businesses business. to mind your own business. Because you know, the temptation to mind other people's business. Come on now on social media, in the news. Eish. You know more about SpaceX than your own business. <laughs> Apple. You know more about Tesla than mm, your own business. Mm. You know more about Apple than your own business. Mm, Google. If I ask you about Google, you can tell me. Mm, mm, if I ask you your own revenue, your mm, own profit, you your explain. own tax, whatever deductions, you have no clue. But the I other side, like you this. know. It's like, it's like this. this. <laughs> I, can, I can explain. Quietness. To mind your business. Wow. Yeah. If you're a pastor, you know more about Lakewood than your own church. Hey, you know what someone they taught last week? Yeah, you know how many people attend mm. Lakewood. When I ask you about the people in your own church, mercy. You, you get offended. It's not about people, apostle. You become defensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. Why are you interested in Lakewood? <laughs> if it's not about the numbers. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mind your own Pitching business. Good. Get your mind, that one, between oh, your ears and put it in your own business. business. Yeah. Your mind Invested. should be on your business. Momentum equals focus plus, plus intensity. intensity. Anytime you lack one of the two, Come on. you don't have momentum. And momentum is the leader's best friend. Mm. If you can't create momentum, you shouldn't be leading. Mm. Get off the steering wheel, mm. let someone else take mm. the people where they need to go. To create momentum, you need focus. Focus on what? On, on your, your business. business. And then you need what? Intensity. 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 Mm. Every five minutes, you're asking a you're question, on one of the people. Mm. Well, where is this? Send me that profit report How again. Where is that? Uh -huh. what, what, how are our staff doing? Mm. Who is mm. very happy? Mm. Who, Who is, is not known? happy? Yeah. Why are Customers. they not happy? Mm. What? That's the thing. You, you have to be asking mm. the whole time. The people who work with me, mm. they can expect mm. a text from me 
Any time. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 11 p.m., 4, 10. It, yeah. Intensity. Focus plus intensity. Yeah, if you, your, yours is working better than mine, it's okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have working hours. I, I have life. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, the thing can come to you at the wrong time. An idea can hit you. And that's the, there's yeah. a reason it's coming to you at that, that time. time. Yeah. You see those who insist that working hours are between 8 and 5, then why do you board no. airplanes at night? <laughs> Those people who are flying you around in the night, they have for them, they don't have working hours. hours. Yeah. Don't they have families? Don't they have families to yeah. go to? Yeah. You see, I am sick and tired of non-progressive, stuck, little mm. things. Mm. Especially when you know that it can be better. You know, it's one thing to say, it's like that because, you know, we've tried everything. And mm, look, mm. this is the result. It's another when. when you can really see the result can be five times. But this person, they are just into being around and feeling important. Yeah. And Come on now. Mind your, your own, own business. business. Put your mind on your business. Put your mind on, on your, your business. business. Not your neighbor. Have the key figures on your fingertips. Right. When they ask how many employees you have, how many customers? you shouldn't be saying, mm, give me two days. Ah! Mm. Are you Ford? <laughs> <laughs> For Ford, we can need two days. But you, with your thing, you can't even tell me how many people you are employed. Apostle. Do you have a customer database? Mm, mm. We, I told some guy to help me with one. Yeah. yeah. Some guy. Some guy. Mind your own business. It's just mm. steady. Mm, 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 mm. Huh? <laughs> And what's, also, what's your profit margin mm. percentage? Meh, meh, meh. Give me four days. Mm. You, what are you doing? All this time. What are you focusing on? Let's, you know the time is even going. They are going to tell us we are done before we are done. <laughs> to work with your oh. own hands. Your own hands and I, head. As we commanded you. Yeah. Com not suggested Commanded. Yeah, if at least if you are in worship harvest, mm. eh? mm. you are expected to be working and earning. That's mm. the pastoral expectation mm. of you. It's a command. It's a command. It's a command. You can't say, "Me, the Lord has called me mm. to be idle." No. Even Paul worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those people they worked. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't give us your idle talk. We don't want it. We are not interested. Yeah. Go find a job or go start a business. That's my pastoral expectation yeah. of every it's member like of worship purpose oh, yeah. who is above 18 oh, yeah. years old. Yeah. Next verse. That you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing what is the result of increasing more and more Increase. living a quiet, quiet life, life minding, work, minding your our own business, business working, working with, with our own hands, hands the result is that that you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing two things mm. one you'll have a testimony totally i do you will have a testimony before the people of the world mm. they will know you're an integral person yeah they will know that when they see you driving that car or <laughs> whatever, they are not going to wonder, but this person doesn't do any work. Mm. How? You know well, what I'm saying? Is not yeah? making sense. Yeah, we mm. are, this, the, 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 the value we know they bring mm. into the world, which is largely watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> and being on social media. And being on social media, not yeah. as an influencer. No, 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 no. Mm, as one minding other post business and the money they have and mm. did, do they have an inheritance did someone did 
Someone mm. leave them alone. Money, what's mm. going on? You see, that's how you start yeah. losing yeah. your testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because people can't That's correlate so questions. your yeah. money and your work life. Yeah. You're always sleeping around. No, not like. <laughs> not no, the no, other no, sleeping no, around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're always sleeping They're at always home. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah, and maybe uh, you have many visitors. Maybe you're a lady and you have mm. many visitors who are men to your house and. It's quite difficult. But then mm. you're inviting people for MC to your house, for mission or community. So now people are like, but uh, what does this person do? Mm. Are those his uncles and brothers and cousins who visit? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are people trying to make it look like what I'm saying? Mm. Is not yeah, even the people online. Why are they following? Why, why are people making? Why, 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 why has Quietness Presbyterian Church entered the studio to make it look like what I'm saying I'm also, is not real? They are listening. They are getting you. Hmm? What a shock! What a shock! That you may. <laughs> That you may lack, lack nothing. nothing. The first lack. thing is you have a testimony. Mm. The second thing is you lack nothing. nothing. Mm. So if there is anything missing in mm. your life, mm, it is because you have not taken this issue of working and income seriously. You're not minding your business. Mm. You are minding Elon Musk's business and Bill Gates and I don't know who. So it's time to mind your own business. And as a business... Yeah. Now, let me talk to business people because our time is out. The same thing that applies to a person totally. is the same thing same that here. applies to a business. Mm. Is your business producing value? That's all. Mm. If you produce value, income will never be a Just thing that them. we have to argue mm. about. Mm. Over to Why don't you help me appreciate our Apostle Studio audience? And all of the people online, come on now. Help me celebrate Apostle at that location where you are in that business chapter. Help me celebrate Apostle for adding value to us. I'm seeing all the posts here and all your comments. I'm sure the media team is making sure our top five are noted so they can get yeah, their we'll gift today. We'll need to announce them before oh, yeah. we close. Yes. Friends, you know what to do. The steps are very clear. The command is that we increase more and more. The command is that we should be fruitful. And how we, do we do that? We lead a quiet life. We mind our business. We focus. And then we work with our hands. Put value in the market so the value can come back to us. Three simple steps that you can implement this week that you can use to change something. Yeah, Apostle has spoken about so many things, including being intense, focusing on those numbers, tracking them daily, weekly, hourly, so you can gain the momentum you need as a business. And of course, the result of that is no doubt you'll have a testimony to tell other people to draw them in. And the second thing is that you eliminate lack totally because God's will for us as the children of God is that we should live in a realm of abundance above and extra to be a blessing to the nations so if you have been watching this and you know someone else who needs to watch it why don't you share the link with them so they can watch this so that they can move away from the realm of luck and the blame game of it's because of this and the other that I don't have money. It's not true. It's all because of us. So friends, thank you so much once again for joining us. If you've been watching us and you're not a believer, you've not come to the serving knowledge of Jesus Christ, I want to implore you. I want to urge you, to strongly encourage you to make a decision today because it all starts with this one decision, to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And it's very simple. The Bible says you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And these words I'm about to say, I'm going to ask you, invite you to say them after me. And after we are done, you'll be born again. So why don't you join me and say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I come to you today to surrender my life to, surrender my life. to you Lord, Lord today I believe in my heart, today I believe in my heart and confess with my, mouth confess with my mouth that you're the Lord of my life, Lord of my life. take my life, take my life and, do and do something significant with it devil, devil today, today between me and you there is no more relationship, no more relationship. it's over 
you have no hold on my life you have no plans for my life i belong to jesus to him and him alone in jesus mighty name amen oh yes clap your hands all you people if you have just said that simple prayer right there and then you have received jesus as your personal lord and savior and that's where everything starts from so why don't you go ahead and send a text to this number that's running on your screen and let us know you've just said that prayer you've just made that prayer with us someone at the end of that line would like to help you make sense of the decision you have made because it's a new journey there's so much to learn and to discover so you can walk into the plans god has for you and the number is 0775 i'll say it again for those who are listening in 0775 Go ahead and send a text to that number and we'll be eagerly waiting to help you make sense of the decision you have just made. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back on this same channel and platform same time next week. Yes, but we have winners. Oh yeah, come on I now. Have winners most active on YouTube this hey, morning. Hey, most people. The winners. Are you ready? Yes. I mean, even if you haven't won on your YouTube, you should be clapping for that. Okay. The winners, the winners are Tracy Birunchi. Come Tracy on, Birunchi. teacher Tracy. We we'll see yes. you. Tracy. The second is Tony Mugenyi. Come on now. By the way, Tony Tracy Birunchi is planting a church in uh, yes. Gomba. In Gomba. Tony Mugenyi is part of uh, Worship Harvest. Tony Mugenyi. Mm. <laughs> Seguku. That's Edwin Mugenyi, Papa. Huh? That's, That's Edwin. Edwin Mugenyi. Oh, yes. Tony Mugenyi Buseka. <laughs> they say, listen to your wife. It works every time. All the time. What a shock. <laughs> and when you don't. Yeah, yeah. So, Tony Mugenyi uh, Buseka. Yeah, Buseka. Pastor Ivy in Napo. Hey. Worship hey. Pastor Muyenga. Muyenga. Joshua Engole, Endless hey, Lights, Worship Harvest Nakawa, Come on now. and Reagan Chisa, that's Worship, Worship Harvest Buseka, Buseka as yeah, well. So, yeah. two people from Buseka. Come on, people, help me celebrate our winners. Yes. Now, every location has a Business it's Leaders a Network chapter. Just text your location, Pastor, yeah. and ask if you are in business. Please, if you are not running a business, don't disturb people. <laughs> Okay, but if you are running a business, yeah. please text your location pastor to be mm. added to the local chapter mm. of, of BLN your location. of your location. Yes. God bless you so much. See you next Sunday. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Pastor Flo. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Also. You're welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? The, the reason why I need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners. So, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> So he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Man. Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sees small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small, and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. We have a new product from Harvest Multipurpose Corporative. HMT Summer School Fees Advance is designed to allow you co-ed access to school fees advances, a 30 days repayment holiday, and the product is at favorable rates. Sign up today from Uvubu Kasoma. You can call or WhatsApp the administrator on 0702